during this whole lockdown situation, I've had quite some time to start reading books. And two books that I read during this lockdown are Michael Pupin's autobiography from immigrant to inventor. And this is just my Kindle, but Tesla's autobiography, my inventions. These were two great Serbian scientists and their autobiographies are very fascinating. So I thought I'd make a video about that, compare the two men first and explore why they really weren't friends. I mean, these were two Serbian inventors living in the same city, working in the same domain at the same time, yet there doesn't seem to be much record of their contact. I'm Stefan from Stefan You Can, and this is your after work shot of knowledge. It all started with Michael Pupin's book. My godfather gave me this book. He actually signed it to Stefan. I hope that one day you could be like Michael Pupin. And those are some pretty big aspirations and the guy is quite inspiring. So I'm really glad my godfather gave me this book. To start, I'll just talk a bit about who Michael Pupin was. Well, Michael Pupin was quite renowned in America, actually in Columbia University. There's a building named after him because he was a professor of electrical engineering at Columbia University. Uh, at a time where electrical engineering still wasn't considered its own specialty in engineering. He came up with a method called pupinization. That was his big invention. It was the use of loading coils in telephone lines instead of amplifiers, which actually saved us a lot of money. The story of Michael Pupin is very inspiring. An immigrant from illiterate parents, but he has a mother who is very intelligent and wise, and she tells him, Michael, knowledge is the ladder to the heavens. And Michael Pupin carries this with him his entire life. He got his bachelor's degree uh, from Columbia University, which was no easy feat, mind you. He was working farming and manufacturing jobs for quite some time until finally he studied day and night, all day, memorizing books so he could get admitted into Columbia University and pass the entrance examinations. And from there, he went on to study mathematics at Cambridge University and finally a PhD at the University of Berlin under none other than Helmholtz. Now at the University of Berlin, he acquired a specific knowledge of science. Right now, you consider that everyone in every country has labs and scientists and research. But at the time, the US wasn't really into research. And Michael Pupin brought back knowledge from Germany like a lot of people, like a lot of European scientists. But while reading his biography, what really struck me was that the most intelligent, the biggest genius, the most famous inventor of arguably all time, but certainly of Serbia, Nikola Tesla, was never mentioned in his autobiography, except for once when mentioning the alternating current. And I thought, how could you be working in the domain of electricity, living in New York City at that time, which mind you was the late 1800s, early 1900s, and not have mentioned Tesla? In order to understand further, I went to read Tesla's autobiography entitled My Inventions, where Tesla tells the story of his life. And it's a much different story than Michael Pupin. Tesla is a genius beyond his time. He has an imaginary world inside his head, which he has a hard time distinguishing from reality. So he has all these inventions ever since he's like six years old, appearing like flashes into his mind. And he has a lot of eccentric behaviors and very funny stories like a time where he tells his uncle, I'm going to throw this rock and it's going to hit that fish and it's going to cut it in half and the fish is going to land on the rock. And the uncle says, go ahead, right? And Tesla throws the rock and actually does it. And the uncle is convinced that Tesla is possessed by Satan. So he really freaked out his uncle. But Tesla was a genius. What did he contribute to our society? Well, you're looking at it right now. Whatever powers 
our homes today, alternating current, was implemented because of Tesla's alternating current motor and other systems and 40 patents he developed for Westinghouse. Also, Tesla worked in the domain of wireless communication. Now, he invented radio by accident. It actually wasn't Marconi, it was Tesla, because he wanted to transmit energy wirelessly around the globe. He also had this idea of extracting free energy from thin air and using his Tesla coil to generate enough electricity to provoke earthquakes and storms. He also invented uh, the Tesla coil, which was used a lot in electrical circuits, but is now mostly being replaced. He was one of the early pioneers of X-ray technology, which he discovered ahead of many of his colleagues and peers that it was dangerous for your health. Tesla also is the story of an immigrant who comes with a few cents in his pocket. Although he comes from a bit of a wealthier and more educated family than Poop and his father is a priest and his mother is an inventor, although at the time she was a woman so she couldn't do much, but she taught Tesla how to memorize books by heart. Einstein said, guys, I'm not the smartest guy, Tesla is. And Tesla can be an inspiration for all of us because not only was he this kind of alien smart, but also his whole goal in life was just to advance, just to advance humanity further using technological developments. Never getting married, just purely focused on his inventions. Why didn't Pupin mention him? Well, I looked it up online and I found some articles that talk about this conflict between Pupin and Tesla. I don't know if it's true, but I'll explore it. Apparently, Tesla was on trial against Marconi, trying to prove that radio was his invention. Pupin was called to testify, and he testified either against Tesla or not totally in favor of Tesla, which made Tesla angry. Pupin, on his deathbed, calls Tesla and says, look, I'm sorry, can you come back to the hospital? Uh, I need to apologize for all of this. And Tesla comes to the, his hospital bed and he apologizes uh, to Tesla and finally Tesla goes to Pupin's funeral. So that is the unofficial story with a lot of rumors. Is it true? Probably. I mean, you have a lot of letters between Tesla and Pupin showing that, Te or I think one letter, showing that Tesla went to visit Pupin while Pupin was sick. But also, Pupin would testify against Tesla in a trial with Marconi because Marconi was the guy who bought Pupin's invention and made Pupin pretty rich. Also, think about being Pupin at this time. I mean, Pupin won a Pulitzer Prize for his book, uh, From Immigrant to Inventor. He won many awards. He has a building named after him. He's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Serbian inventor and scientist of the modern era only overshadowed by Tesla, who is the biggest scientist, perhaps of all time, an inventor. The two men might have had a conflict and they were vastly different. Like you gotta understand, you had Pupin who was the traditional academic and Tesla who was this crazy mystical inventor. Tesla never finished university. He had a gambling addiction and then a nervous breakdown and then started working for a telegraph company and then, a, then Edison's company and then moved to the US but he had his visions in his mind and he was obsessed with putting them in place. At the end of the day, from these two stories, I can say that both men inspire me and make me proud to be Serbian. These two autobiographies definitely inspired me. I hope this video gave you more information about these two inventors. If you really liked this video and you want more information, more resources, you can click on the link in the description below. I have written a blog article about the two men and you can find more information that delves deeper into their lives and this topic. Thanks for watching.